<clears throat> all right, Shalom. First and foremost, of all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakhak Kodash. The Baron the Apostle is a great most over teaching us, storm of saying truth according to Baron Rowell. And peace and blessings so flex of the nation of Israel. Take through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shema of Shai. Willing it to the Lord's will and the final lesson, you know, on how the time is short. This is uh, Romans 13 and 11, and that knowing the time, right? You know, and one might ask, how do we know that the time is short? Because we know the times, right? Yahweh by Shema Shai, you know, uh, has given us uh, this understanding. This is uh, St. John 5 and 25. Uh, verily, verily, I say unto you, the hour is coming, and now is, when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God, and they that hear shall live, right? And we're hearing the voice of Yahweh Shai via the, sorry, the the men that he set up, right? Uh, and we are, are living, we are coming back to life, you see? And uh, a, a wise man's heart, Right, according to Ecclesiastes uh, 8, I'm going to start verse 4. It says, where the word of a king is, there is power. And who may say unto him, what doest thou? So the words of Yahweh by Shema Shai are quick and powerful. Right, and they have brought us back to life. Verse 5 it says, whoso keepeth the commandment, right, shall feel no evil thing. Right, the Lord is going to be uh, with them. Right during these times of troubles that are coming, it says, "In a wise man's heart, discerneth both time and judgment." Right, a wise man's heart discerneth both time and judgment. So, Yahweh Shema Shai, He has made us of a quick understanding. Right, when you read here in Acts, uh, ten, and uh. For the Acts ten of for the mm, verse forty two, and he commanded us to preach unto the people and to testify that it is he, he who he who was ordained of the Most High to judge the quick and the dead. So Yahweh Shai, he's ordained. Right, to judge the quick and the dead, and we have his testimony. Right, the men, the prophets of Yah by Shema Shai. It says, To him give all the prophets witness that through him, through his name, whosoever believeth in him shall receive remission of sins. Right? So, whoso believeth, right, on Yahweh Shai, you know, will, sins will be forgiven. Right, they will be of a quick understanding. The Lord will have mercy upon them, right? And they will be able to see what time we're in, right? They will be able to realize this grace period that we have, and they will make the most of this grace period, right? They will apply wisdom in every aspect of their life. They will uh, use discernment to get out of situations. They will they will uh, walk as Yahweh Shai. Did as he was the manifestation of the word. The word became flesh and, and dwelt among them. Right? So we have to read these scriptures, right? And, and, and digest them in our mind. Right? When you digest food, when you eat, when your body absorbs food, you get a result from that food, right? If you uh you know drink coffee, right? You, know, you get this uh boost of uh you know so-called energy you know which it basically just you know anyways i won't go into that it, it you know you get this boost right same thing with the knowledge of yahweh by shima shai you get this boost right brothers can look up the benefits of coffee on their own time it says to him right it says while peter yet spake these words the holy spirit fell on them which heard the word right uh, upon them which heard the word, right? And and they became, you know, let me look at this. Let 
Okay. Just making sure. This is uh, back in Romans uh, 13 and 11, and that knowing the time that now it is high time to wake out of sleep. So, right, so now that the words be out by Shema Shah has been preached on to us, right, and we have been enlightened, right, uh, the, the, the scriptures, you know, have enlightened our eyes, right? This is a Psalms uh, 19 and, and, and 7 and 8. It says the law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul, right, convert, right, changing the soul, right, Con converting us. Uh, to follow the ways of Yahweh by Shema Shai, the testimony of the Lord, right, which is the spirit of the prophecy, is sure, it's true. Making wise to simple, those who are simple minded, you know, to the to the dangers ahead, the dangers that are coming in the future, we have been made a uh, we have made, made been made wise uh, of these things, right? We've been made uh, knowledgeable of the of the future and how we should conduct ourselves. The statues of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. It says the commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes, right? The mind's eye becomes enlightened by, by what? The commandments of Yahweh Shema Shai, right? The commandments of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes, right? So our mind's eye... You know, it has been uh, rendered active. We can see, we can see clearly what is coming. We can see clearly the reward for the righteous. We can see clearly how to escape. You know, we can see Yahweh that He is the way, the truth, and the life. And no man cometh unto the Father but by Him. You want to receive glory and honor and thrones and scepters and dominions. You must go through uh, Yahweh Shai. And follow his commandments, just like uh, Moses told us, right? He, uh, you know, he said, uh, I'll raise up one from among your brethren, right? Uh, hear ye him, speaking of Yahweh Shai, right? It's real quick, St. John 1 and 16, and, and of his fullness have we received and received and grace for grace for the law was given by Moses but grace and truth came by Yahweh Shai right so we've been given this grace period we've been given this knowledge this truth to sanctify us right and and, and the time is short realize that realize you know I gotta utilize this truth I gotta utilize the gifts that's been given to me, right? We're coming to a time like none other, right? A time like none other is coming, and you got to be uh, ready, right? You, you want to be giving your all now so you can be ready for the big game, for the big fight, you know? You, you, you know? <laughs> Here it is, uh, you know, you got a job interview, right? When you first come to, let's see, you know, when you first come into this truth, right? You know, you're excited, you know, you're excited to get this new job, you know, uh, you know, but then you start uh, getting late, you start showing up late to the job, you start getting lazy, you start getting complacent. No, that's not how the Yahweh Shema Shai wants us. You know, we must uh, continue to remember our first love. We must continue to remember, you know, what's been given unto us, right? And it tells us here in that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. Look at this word high time. It goes into something that should have been done a very long time ago. So if something that should have been done a very long time ago tells you that the remaining time is short, <laughs> you know, it's past due, right? So it says, and it reads, right? For now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. Right, but Yahweh Shai, he's coming back to judge the quick and the dead, right? And we, we, we are not those, right, that draw back onto perdition, right? So we must continue to honor wisdom. We must continue to honor, you know, what Yahweh Shema Shai has given us, knowing that salvation is near, knowing that the day that Yahweh Shai is going to return, 
you know, and when he comes back, you know, we want to be greeted, you know, with, uh, with smiles, so to speak, you know. You know, I don't know how the Lord's going to look when he comes back, you know. He, he ain't going to be happy, but, you know, when he sees his men, you know, you want that, that order to come up, come up hither, right? So we got to use this knowledge. We got to realize what we have, right? And that we have this gift, you know, that was given to us, right? It says, the night is far spent. The day is at hand, right? Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness, right? So the night, you know, <laughs> You know, as far as spent, the day is at hand. Yahweh Shai is, is that uh, morning star. You know, he he he's our day. He's he's our he's our light. You know, so uh, what? You know, let let us put on the the put and let us put on the armor of light. Right. Let let's let's wear. You know, let's let's put this truth on as an armor to shield us. From the wiles of the devil to shield, to shield us from all the evils of this world, right? As we uh, uh, have to uh, contend and struggle and fight, and, and, you know, and, and, and do the right thing constantly to please Yahweh Shema Shah, and it's not easy, right? Let us walk honestly as in the day, not in writhing and drunkenness, nor in chambering and wantonness. Not in strife and envy, but put ye on Yahweh Shai, and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. Let's look up this definition for provision, the action of providing or supplying something for use, right? So we should not be applying, uh, it says, an amount or thing supplied. We should not be supplying. The flesh with more ammo, right? We should not be feeding our flesh, providing our flesh with more uh, uh, pleasures and, you know, desires and what the body wants, what the flesh wants, what you uh, uh, in the body wants, right? No, we got to think about what our spiritual, you know, uh, uh, what our spirit wants, you know, our spirit wants uh, immortality, our spirit wants to escape this body, so we must do the things that are needful for us to escape these bodies, right? You know, just some things on, you know, uh, just really turn on the camera. You know, Lord's willing to set us on the other side. Next time I say, shalom.